And today we are going to be trying another new hard seltzer. Uh, I've been dreading this one for weeks now. Um, we got the Four Loco Hard Seltzer uh, Wild Cherry, Black Cherry flavor. So let's see how this goes. All right, Four Loco Hard Seltzer with a hint of Black Cherry. Uh, this came out last year, I believe, around maybe November, December, end of the year. Um, but I couldn't really find it uh, until a few weeks ago and one of the local liquor stores had it so i grabbed a can uh, so we could try it out and see how it was this thing is a beast look at how big this can is um here's a can of white claw for comparison and here is a ford loco right it's like 24 ounces something like that um uh, yeah 23.5 ounces whereas this is 12. um there's not much in the way of nutrition information on this. So I don't know how much sugar, how many calories or anything. It literally just says alcohol facts, serving size, five fluid ounces, um, servings per container. There's four and three quarter servings per each uh, can. And the alcohol by volume is 12%. Um, so yeah, so 12% alcohol in a can of this, 5% in this. Um, Premium malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors and sucralose. Uh, these other ones don't have sucralose, so I have to imagine that this is going to be very sweet. Um, I don't think it's going to taste very good. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not going to drink this entire can. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how this is and how it compares to some of the other ones that we've tried so far. Um, they do have another flavor, like a Four loco Sour Seltzer or something. Um, I, I, I think it's like a raspberry or, or some other sort of flavor. I'm not really sure. This is what they had on the shelf, so this is what I grabbed. I figured it'd be a better comparison considering a bunch of the other seltzer flavors have black cherry. And I've never had a regular Four loco, uh, so I'm not really sure how they taste to begin with. Uh, so I can't really compare it to that, but we'll just compare this to the other seltzers out there and see how it is. All right, let's take the first sip of this thing. All right. Oh, it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good at all. <coughs> oh my God. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, no, nope. it's, it just tastes weird. It's super, super sweet, like too sweet, like candy. Um, I, I don't, oh, yeah, I'm definitely not drinking this whole can. This is not good. Absolutely prefer the other ones over this. Uh, maybe if you're in college or you just want to get really drunk, I guess this, but there are way better options out there than this thing. This is absolutely disgusting. I'm going to take another sip, even though I really don't want to. Oh, yeah. It tastes like medicine. Like me bad, bad medicine. I don't even know. Like not like cough medicine, but like almost like... Um, like a children's medicine that they would add sugar or something sweet to so that kids will take it. Oh, so bad. Um, I cannot recommend this to anyone um, if you're a fan of hard seltzers. Do not waste your money. Uh, this thing's getting poured down the drain. I'm not drinking this. I will happily drink this instead any day of the week. Um, like I said, I don't even remember how much this cost. I want to say it was like 350 or something. It wasn't too bad, but this is not something that I will ever purchase again, uh, unless it's as a joke. Um, I can't, there's nothing really else to say about this except don't waste your money. It's not good. You're not going to like it. Trust me. Um, unless, I guess, unless you'd like Four loco to begin with, 
um, and you maybe you like medicine, or you can use it to mix with something or water it down with ice. I don't know. It's gross. Do not drink this. Stick to the Bud Light Seltzers, the White Claws, the Trulies, even the Corona ones if you have to. Um, the, the Four loco they just did not hit the mark with this. I can't... Yeah, that, I don't know. Just try one of the other ones. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't know. I guess subscribe to the channel below and keep a lookout for more hard seltzer reviews, more random food reviews, more random taste testings of foods that I've never had in my life. Um, and yeah, don't forget to check out the website, antifoodie.com. And I guess we'll see you next time. Oh. So gross.